Good morning, Dreyfus, and welcome to DSOA Today. Happy National Forgiveness and Happiness Day. My name is Kyla Rockwell. And I'm Ayush Agarwal. Before we get into the news for today, let's roll that intro. DSOA, every day we create something new. DSOA. Attention juniors and seniors, if you are in need of concordant scores for a graduation requirement, the CLT will be offered for you to take on October 16th in the Media Center. This is a great chance to get even more prepared for your future education, so we hope to see you there. Also, Tuesday, October 8th is Anti-Bullying Day, so make sure you wear blue to stand against bullying. In more testing news, on October 21st, Part 1 of the ACE English Language Test, Makeup Test, will be taking place. For more information on how to retake or make up the test, please speak to Mr. Lewis and good luck on testing, Dreyfus. With the coming of the new month, we have also entered PSAT season. With the 11th graders taking their test on October 22nd and the 10th graders taking theirs on October 23rd. Both tests will take place in the Media Center and gym. Just a quick reminder that the fall dance tickets are available for purchase on School Cash Online. The dance is on October 18th, so get your tickets soon. See Miss Ray in the cafeteria for more information. Speaking of the fall dance, let's take a look at an On the Street by Trisha Bobji Rao and Vsal Lee. Good morning, Jaguars. It's your favorite TV duo. I'm Trisha Bobji Rao. And I'm Vsal Lee. As the fall dance approaches, we'll be going around asking our Jaguars about what they'll be dressing up as for the fall dance. And as well as how we can make this fall dance the best one yet. Let's get to it. I'm dressing up as a mummy with my friend. I'm gonna be dressed up as like, I don't know, maybe a fancier, bougier uh, person of the terrifier. He's a mime, so yeah. My friends and I are planning on dressing up as the Inside Out 2 Emotions. I'm gonna be dressing up as Bruno Mars, his album cover, Die With A Smile, that look. My friends and I are doing princesses in a group, so I'm Meg from Hercules. I haven't been to the fall dance since freshman year, so I'm just excited to have a fun school event that I can hang out with all my friends at, so yeah. This year, I'm really hoping that the haunted house is like as scary as possible, and if not, just like have a lot of games there, possibly. I didn't go last year, so I don't really know what to expect, but I'm hoping it's fun. I'm ready for everyone to be in like all their cool costumes and like to get scared. I'm really excited to get to hang out with my friends like at school but still have like without rules as much so yeah. I'm expecting it to be really cool because you know it's dry fizz. What can we have? You know we should do better. Well that's all we have for you today dry fizz. We can't wait to see you guys at the fall dance with your amazing costumes. Thank you SGA for hosting this year's fall dance. We appreciate you guys. With your favorite TV duo reporting, this is Trisha Bob G. Rao. And this is Visa Ali from DSW today. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Trisha and Vsal, for those swell interviews. I cannot wait to see everyone's beautiful costumes. In other news, for underclassmen, if you or your family wish to view your picture taken on photo day, you can do so by going to herfjones.com, search for Dreyfus School of the Arts, and simply click K-11 Portraits and enter your student ID number. As for students who purchased a picture package and wish to retake it or simply were absent during photo day, photos will be retaken on October 17th. Just a reminder, the school district is hosting a college fair and career fair. Another college fair will be happening here on campus next Friday, October 11th, from 3.40 to 6 p.m. in the gym and the media center. All students in any grade and immediate family are strongly encouraged to attend. Don't miss out on this beneficial opportunity. In more college news, many schools are coming to visit this week. Next Monday, we have Villanova University and Sarah Lawrence College, Pratt Institute, Maine on Wednesday, Bucknell University, Carnegie Mellon University, Loyola Marymount University on Thursday, and finally, William and Mary College, Boston Conservatory at Berkeley, and Berkeley College of Music on Friday. These are great opportunities to discover your future, so please come if you're interested. Now, here's to a story on last week's impromptu, impromptu piano concert by our reporters Melina Asnani and Carolina Ricci.
The music department's annual impromptu concert was performed in the Black Box Theater over the course of two nights. Let's take a look at some of their pieces. The 13th annual impromptu concert included a diverse selection of pieces, ranging from the 70s to today's hits, all of which were chosen by the performers to make this showcase truly unique. Here's Ms. Katz, the head director of Impromptu, giving her take on the show. So we love Impromptu every year because uh, we get a lot of interest and people love to come be entertained. Um, it also helps our students uh, work with others and, uh, you know, playing piano is a pretty solitary art. So it's a way for us to get out and, and be with others and, um, and, and, you know, learn some things along the way. The Black Box Theater was packed with students, parents, and staff enjoying hits from various musicals, Disney movies, trending pop artists, and some oldies as well. Um, it's important to me because it's important to the students. Um, my students were the ones that actually came up with this show many years ago. You know, it's really important to them and uh, I can respect that. This performance connects the Dreyfus Music Department while showcasing the students' talents. I'm Alina Aznani, reporting for DSOA Today. Before we leave you in honor of Latin American Hispanic Heritage Month, today we would like to acknowledge Eva Perón. She was an Argentine activist, actress, philanthropist, politician, and first lady. She was also known for being a big supporter of trade unions and labor rights, as well as women's suffrage. Not only that, but she also became the head of the country's ministries of labor and health, and founded Argentina's first major female political party known as the Women's Peronist Party. Sadly, she passed away in 1952 at the young age of 33. We hope to continue spreading awareness of her feat and greatness in honor of her memory. Well, Dreyfus, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching. My name is Ayush Agarwal. And I'm Kyla Rockwell, hoping you all have a whimsical day full of pleasure, and we'll see you at class changes and lunch.